are here at Ninh Chu Bay, Vietnam for the launch of a brand new kite movement that is set to redefine how we see kiteboarding. It's CRX, which is a platform to learn the sport and develop skills from the ground up. At the core of its ethos is a drive to support the sport across the board, from the happy weekend freerider to the aspiring future Olympians. So come and join us for a week of testing, training and competition. <laughs> The week started with an open invitation for riders to come early and try out the CRX gear ahead of the competition, to take on some special training, and to have access to the design team for any questions or feedback they had to offer. The CRX board is convertible between twin tip and hydrofoil modes. Depending on the conditions and race format, athletes can quickly convert their board to either configuration using a single tool they can also fine-tune their equipment for their weight, size, and individual preferences. Well, for those of you who want to know the anatomy of a, of a foil setup, this is the CRX foil. Um, you've got, uh, there's a few technical terms for all the parts. The, the bit that connects to the board is called the top socket. The mast, uh, the mast is mounted into that top socket with two screws from the top. Uh, this is the mast, this is the fuselage, and you have a, a front wing and a rear wing. And when you're riding along, uh, the, the front wing provides your lift and the rear wing is a stabiliser. Liz, you've just used the CRX gear for the first time, right? Yes. What are your first impressions? Oh, I love it. Absolutely. It was amazing. It was... Uh... I think uh, trying out the foil, I think we're really becoming friends and um, that was just a start. How'd you get on Alex? Oh much better, yeah. much better. I mean I love it. Yeah? Yeah and today the conditions is flat water so it's good. Steph, how was your session? Awesome! Really? Yeah we had fun. How's the kite? The kite, um, it was great. Um, the bar and everything, it feels really good. Uh, the extra stability, the wind wasn't the greatest, but just, you know, even though it wasn't the greatest, it was still doing uh, beautiful. Absolutely, yeah. So, Fee, you just came off the water. You've used the CRX gear for the first time, right? Yes. What are your first thoughts? Uh, I'm feeling good. The board, the twin tip board, and the foil, it's good. I really like it. Okay, um, thank you again everybody for another awesome day. Um, luckily today we've got a lot more wind, which is a little bit more exciting. It was great to see everybody out there getting some huge jumps and saw sort of a bit of freestyle, a few board offs, a um, bit of racing on the twin tips, um, a few more people trying on the foils, it was awesome. So uh, it was great to see everyone smiling a little bit more. The wind showed up for race day and the race marks were finally put to their proper use. It's a fine day over in Bay Beach Club as we get set for the opening heat of the women's twin tip race here at the first ever CRX Invitational Trials. Along with test driving the new gear, the ladies will be introduced to a new course format, Border Cross, requiring a leap over two consecutive obstacles before they make their way to the upwind buoy. Then back to the gate formed by the jump buoys Hopping over just one more time on their way home to the finish line. The line looks good to go. And the flag is down. We're off to a great running start here. Four riders packed tightly together cross the line. The final three a short distance behind. The pack is heading for the first jump. And it looks like mayhem. Several riders make their leap up and over. And rider Fu Sumsian goes down as Catherine Borglard breaks into the lead. Two riders take an early tack on a quest to reach the upwind buoy. Will it pay off? Time will tell. Catherine Borgward of Germany, employing a longer tack, maintains her lead and will clear the upwind buoy first. As she rounds the marker for the downwind leg, Phon Binyapit Jantuan of Thailand and Julie Diet of Vietnam are trailing close behind and approaching the buoy. Jantuan closing the gap on the downwind jive. Borgward with the angle she needs to clear the final jump. Jantuan hot on her trail. And it will be Catherine Borgward of Germany to cross the line first, with Jantuan of Thailand in second, and Julie Diet of Vietnam in third place.
Sunday's wind was a bit light for a twin tip race, but it gave us the perfect chance to ride with the CRX and its hydrofoil. Foil racing is relatively new and without question is going to have a big future in kiting. Although the wind is still blowing here at Ninchu Bay, our time here has inevitably come to a close. Looking back, though, it's safe to say that CRX managed to pull off a fantastic first event, which we imagine will be the first of many more to come. But for all of us here at Ninchu Bay, Tambiet, goodbye for now. <laughs>